Welcome. You are here today at this facility to receive a high level briefing on the VKK Space Orbiter, otherwise known as the Buran, Space Shuttle of the Soviet Union. Buran is the name of the first spacecraft developed by the Soviet space program as a manned reusable orbital vehicle. Bearing many aesthetic similarities to the US Space Shuttle, Buran is a combination aeroplane and spacecraft. Buran is a space plane, marrying aerodynamic properties for maneuvering and landing in the atmosphere with the life support and functionality for orbital operations. Known to the Soviets as the VKK, Vozdushno Kosmicheski Korabul or Aerospacecraft, the Buran orbiter was key to the goal of establishing and maintaining a permanent manned presence in orbit. Buran was a key strategic initiative for the Soviet Union. At a time when the Cold War was still at its hottest, Buran utilized the full scientific and technical resources of the Union and consumed a multi-billion dollar budget. While capable of meeting the goal of servicing orbiting space stations, Buran also had the potential to be a cost-effective vehicle for delivering military payloads into space. The VKK space shuttle was developed by the Molnia Scientific and Industrial Enterprise at Tushino near Moskaya from 1981 onwards. The project was under the direction of comrade Valentin Glushko. In 1984, the first VKK shuttle orbiter Buran, which means snowstorm, as its first flight was during a snowstorm, was rolled out at the Tushino machine building factory near Moscow. From the Tushino factory, the orbiter is then transported 2,000 km to the Energia VKK technical zone in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. At Baikonur, the orbiter is integrated with its Energia launcher in a special technical testing facility, which assesses the launch readiness of the complete configuration. The Buran is a modern practical spacecraft with major emphasis placed on mission focus, efficiency and safety in design. The transport function of the Buran largely determined its dimensions. Its length is 37 meters. It has a wingspan of 23 meters and a height of 60 meters. The VKK design incorporates highly resistant exotic alloys such as beryllium, boron aluminium, niobium and titanium nickel. Honeycombed composites which can reduce components weight by 50 to 70 percent were utilized. To survive scorching re-entry temperatures VKK shuttles are equipped with a thermal protection system which weighs only 9 tons but keeps the temperature of the vehicle's body below 150 degrees centigrade even when it is within the flaming plasma of 1600 degrees centigrade. The TPS installation consists of an overall layer of black and white lightweight tiles incorporating very fine quartz fibers. These tiles have minimal thermal expansion and are very tough. The nose section of the VKK orbiter is an airtight, all-welded cabin of 73 square meters, housing a two-deck pressurized crew compartment, which can accommodate, with other quite comfort, a crew of two pilots and eight passengers. The Buran was originally designed with several turbojet engines. All engines use liquid oxygen and hydrocarbon fuel supplied from common tanks. 
the Energia score stage places the VKK orbiter into a preliminary 160 km orbit and then separates. Following this, OMS engines are fired for insertion in higher orbit. Three 25 square meter parachutes are housed in a container at the orbiter's rear and are released on touchdown to break its landing roll speed. The Burand is a revolutionary and most remarkable space vehicle and represents an entirely new generation of spaceflight. We believe crafts such as these will dominate close orbit space missions in the very near future. By 2020, Earth orbit flights may even be as commonplace and as economical as international jet travel is today. This briefing is now over and I thank you for your attention. I ask you now to please proceed to the main hangar area where you will be taken through to the VKK Space Orbiter, Burran.